Alright, and here I got all the scutcheons and stuff like that. Stuff for tubs to catch here. And pipes going through the floor. It's all scutcheons. Here's all screws. You know, long uh, sheetrock screws and roof and nails and zip screws, stuff like that. Here's all, it's all slip couplings, half inch, three quarter, one inch, copper bushings, all fitting brushes, small, half inch, three quarter, three eighths, you know, all stuff like that. Saws all blades type of thing. There's all half inch copper, 90s, jet 90s, 45s, stuff like that. There's all female, half inch female adapters, so drop in 90s and caps. There's all like faucet handles and miscellaneous stuff in this one. Another electrical relays and fuses, more fuses and uh, fusible links for wells. More relays and all electrical stuff. Down on the here we got it's all three quarter stuff in there. A little bit too much actually. It's grinding up. This is all fittings. More fittings. Recording 90s and 45s. Here yeah, I got all tools. Kind of different tools and stuff I need. More tools. Screws, different size screws, three quarter copper tees, more three quarter stuff, three quarter by half bushings, kinds of stuff in there, more three quarter, all brass nipples, half inch and three quarter, one inch, F and M rings, all different sizes, hangers. Basically threaded stuff is some more um, Mickey Mouse clips and half inch copper clips. It's all different brass fittings, 90s caps, plugs, all brass. It's all my refrigeration stuff, all different size, small couplings and 90s and flare. All small stuff, 3 8 Some more brass fittings in here. The straw down here is strictly for like boilers and um, football gaskets. A lot of them for circulators. All kinds of um, little vents, circulator vents, and all housings and stuff. This is basically all stuff that I would use on a boiler around the circulator, loaded in there. With all my tools here for um, um, doing sheet metal, crimpers, and all the flat crimpers and stuff. I got some pullers here for uh, blower wheels and snips and bulldogs. All stuff like that. Different pullers. This, this bin here is strictly all picks. Pex hangers, and I got all the Pex stuff in here. That bin. This bin here. Ball, ball valves. Half inch, three quarter, one inch, two inch. Ball valves, um, gas cocks, boiler drains. All my ball valves are in that bin there. I forgot this little, t this bin down here is all two inch PVC. So that pretty much takes care of this side. Starting on this side over here. I got my cot there. I use that for a lot of water heaters and stuff. Down under here, I got a bend. My little ladder here. And this is all black, black and white fittings. All different sizes for boilers and 
tees and all big stuff. Anything one inch and bigger by keeping that bend down the bottom down there. My little ladder in there. Keep it up out of the way. Down on the bottom there, strictly for like copper. Pieces of copper and brass that I get. I usually get a little bit of junk every day. This bin here, what I keep in here is basket strainers for sinks. Um, usually I like toilet fill valves and my uh, PVC stuff. I keep some of my oil filters in here, the F4s. The most common one, I usually keep them in here. I got some toilet fill valves. I got my vacuum, my soot vac for the boilers. My little trusty oil container I bring in with me every time I do an oil burner service call. This little flat container, I drain the oil into this, clean out the filters and stuff, drain it right into that and throw it into there. And then when I come into the truck, it goes in this container. All the old oil drains down in the bottom. Got my um, bought my little pressure tank there. I use that for blowing out winterizing houses. A little compressor. This is strictly working on faucets. Uh, faucet kit. Everything I would need to refill faucets and working on shower valves. Everything's in this kit. This one's strictly for working on oil burners. This kit. And I got that other kit over there that's strictly... You know, if I'm going to install a, fa install a faucet or fix a drain or whatever, everything. My main go-to kit is in here for soldering and whatnot. Plumbing-wise. Alright, now what do I got over here? I got my Testo 557. I just got that. My PEX tubing over there. I got 5.8 and 7.8 holes. Um, got a spare LP tank. My nitrogen tank is here. And I got a spare... B vent, uh, B tank in there, the acetylene underneath the, the hose in there. Okay, then up on top here. I know there's a lot of shit here, guys. Bear with me. This little container over here is all small PVC, three quarter traps, 90s, and 45s. This thing's loaded with PVC stuff for like running condensate drains. My little 30 pounder. It's basically a, a tank that I use for. Um, switching, you know, refrigerant or something if I'm in a system where there's too much gas and I gotta save some and then put it back. I'll use this just as a spare tank, recovery tank. Over here, this is all stuff for cleaning out oil burners. I take this in when I do a burner cleaning. It's got all the brushes and stuff I need to clean the broiler. This container here basically it's got all this my silver tape and my duct tape in here I got um, silicone uh, stuff like uh, waste and overflow for a tub got some green blaster over here I got my um, compressor compressor um, we're moving compressors this tote little it's a lot easier pulling compressors out with that this other container here is all PVC Inch and a half PVC 90s and um, tail pieces and stuff like that for plumbing. I got my two containers here 410A. 22. Got a pair of bolt cutters. All my gas flexes I keep up on top here. Usually keep two or three of them for working on stoves. My little my little healthy healthy pump here to suck out toilets and stuff for winterizations. I got my silicone. This is all smoke pipe in here. All smoke pipe, different 90s and 45s and whatnot. I got a couple of oil oil gauges up there. And this next one over here is strictly all clamps, inch and a half, two inch no hub clamps. All no hub clamps in that bend there. And I got my vacuum set up here, my vacuum hoses, my Apion vacuum hose set up. Uh, core removers, uh, blue vac is in this bag right here. Up on top there, I got all my PV, long 10 foot PVC pieces. Uh, I made this rack, goes right along the whole top of the truck. And this is 5 foot lens of 4 inch smoke pipe. I use this for dry events. The 5 foot is 30 gauge. 
So I'll do a lot of dry events and stuff like that, and I'll use that stuff. Up on top here is, this is basically, this kit is for lead and oakum, for closet flanges and whatnot. I'll use that. This is all, um, in the back here is all faucets. Kitchen sink faucets, lavatory faucets, um, shower valves, type of stuff's all in the back there. Do a lot of gerber. This is a oil tank gauge, but then this is all like toilet flappers, and I got a whole nother box up here of toilet flappers, different sizes and stuff. Outside faucets. And I got my vacuum pump here. My uh, my gauge and stuff in here for the uh, the nitrogen. I got another vacuum gauge in there. I got my recovery tank. Um, my recovery pump back there, little stinger. I got my scale back there. I got my stuff. Bucket back there, basically hoses and stuff. And a couple of clamps for jumping out um, outside units and whatnot to grab power from. Right, next, I'm going to get into what's inside these bins. So what I'm going to do next, go over that. I'll start that on another video. Alright. My filing cabinets. Basically what I did on these filing cabinets, I put this panning all the way to the top. I put this tape along here so I wouldn't slice myself. So I could put a lot of stuff in here. Basically what I have in here is all contactors and relays. This is all loaded with relays. I got a lot more than I would probably ever use, but they're all in there. Mostly 24 volt contactors and heat sequences. I use these on a the power vent. It's basically a single stack um, heat sequencer. Turn the power venters off and on. You guys are familiar with these. Um, it's a bag of all pistons, orifices for different air conditioning stuff. Um, the little blow gun. I use that a lot for blowing out condensate lines. I got all different size stuff for window units for clamp-ons and stuff for charge window units. I don't do a lot with window units, but I do have the stuff. I got some cartridges here. See, some of these cartridges are for my oil burner gun, which is smaller than the um, than this gun. This gun is basically for blowing out uh, condenser lines. I mean, um, refrigerant. Um, you know, condensate lines. This size cartridge right here. I just bought five more of these packages. These things are pretty expensive. I use a lot of these. I'm going to get myself a small vacuum too for sucking out the condensate lines. But the oil burner cartridges are smaller for blowing out oil lines. I got them both. Uh, Ranco fan cycle switch. This, all this stuff over here is um, oil burner pump strainers, all different kinds, Riello and uh, Beckett, all in here, a couple of float switches, put that in there, um, oil burner um, gaskets, his bags for the, vac, for the vac pump, oil burner pump. Well, I can put a lot of stuff in these. This next drawer, loaded with all thermal couples. These are all relief valves over here. Washing machine valves, gauges, regulators, transformers. Got all different kind of transformers in here, and uh, watts, tempering valves, and you name it, I got it in here. High vents, relief valves for water heaters, water heater elements, oil pump pressure switches, transformer. This one here is a, you know, this one does 208, 220, 480. Uh, Taco high vents, got a lot of them in here. This is all loaded, loaded with stuff. Um, steam, vents, 
things loaded vac you know pressure switches all different type of stuff usually if I pull up on a job and they're having a problem with no heat or any kind of issue I have what I need in this truck to fix it nothing I hate more than have to run the supply house to get stuff all right, inside here Strictly like these these shower valves here, these Simmons tub and shower valves. These are all the parts I need to work on. I do a lot with these spindles. This spindle right here is for the tub. That one's a shower tub and shower. All different all different parts I would need are in here. I put them in bags so I know how many I have when I'm running low. Makes it easier. I got some chrome angle stops and straight stops here. This is all stuff for tubs, trip levers. It's easier in the bag, so I know when I'm running low. Um, this is all shower heads, different shower heads I need. Changing different shower heads. Um, here's all the spindles in the front here. The repair kits, inner and outer seats, uh, the, all the different type of spindles I need for the Simmons shower valve. This is pretty much all Simmons uh, shower valves, tub and shower valves here. Do a lot of repair on that stuff. Down the bottom down here. This is all oil pumps. Um, pressure relief, pressure reducing valves, 9Ds for boilers. Protector relays for the boilers. Put, change a lot of protector relays. The protector, you know, uh, the, the, the reset switch on there. You'll find on the boiler. 8184G, 15, 20, 45 second controls. We'll change a lot of those. I keep all my F1 filters in here, which is a smaller size filter. I'm running low on them. So I keep all the small filters in here and all the big filters on the other side. <coughs> oil safety valves. We've got to use these on the oil lines if it's not protected. Put a lot of them in. That's the law now. Delayed oil valves for the oil burners. Oil burner filters are here. Spin on filters. I got quite a few different filters here. This is all oil burner stuff. Here's the protector relay I was talking about 8184G. It's a very popular uh, relay. It's a safety. Got a lot of that. Do a lot of them. Do a lot of oil burner service in the winter. Let's see what we got up here. More tools. Basically, I have in here is all um, wire nuts and stuff. I have all wire nuts in my bottom of my little repair kit over there, but this is like a backup of the wire nuts. And then I got all like the connectors, all the different wire connectors, spades and couplings and males and females. It's all here as a backup. In the back over here, I carry some anti gel for oil tanks. Because if it gets cold out, the oil will gel if it's an outside tank. So I sell a lot of that stuff. Bearing tool. I use this a lot of times if i got to open up a sink or something. Or I'll use this for grinding out like tub drains and stuff so I won't own a porcelain. i got to get them out. Some specialty filters here. There's sometimes you got three or four different crazy filters. i got them here. My drill cord. This is one of my favorite tools right here. It's a four and a half inch grinder. And I just took the safety blade off and I put this real thin blade for cutting stuff. A lot of times like cutting cast iron, I'll use this. Comes in very handy. I got a whole box of blades down in there. Got a little heat gun. If I'm getting low on a refrigerant tank, you know, I could heat it up to help get the gas out. That's an important tool to have. I got another tool in here I want to show you guys if I can find it. Little nibbler. This thing's this thing's the cat's ass. It's a little tiny nibbler. I got this from a long time sheet sheet metal guy. When he retired, he gave it to me. It's a little tiny nibbler. Gets in like tight spots. It's really small. It's a Lesco. It's a great little tool. It's tiny. You know, the switches on the bottom. That's a great little tool. Got some of the tools there. Uh, second 
put a lot of stuff in these cabinets. There's more stuff in there you can't even see. All this stuff here is all like plumbing stuff. Um, flappers. I've got all the flappers in this bag, all different kinds. These kinds, i got like all the American standard uh, flappers that go on the flush buckets. And I keep them all in the bag so I know when I'm running low. It's basically all stuff for like toilets. All um, toilet for bowl gaskets. There's all stuff for like um, kitchen sink where the sprayer comes through. A lot of these will break off. I got a whole bag of those. There's all stuff like um, shower arms coming out for the shower heads. Got a whole bag of those with the escutcheons. It's all gaskets here. This is all gaskets for Manfield's toilets. There's all gaskets for um, tubs. Overflow. The gaskets on the, the tub overflow. I got a whole bunch of them, all different kinds. I got some spray hoses. It's basically all plumbing stuff in here. All plumbing stuff. Closet flange rots. Uh, flange rots out from under the toilet. I got different stuff where I could fix it. That's pretty much all that's in there. I'll go to when I need plumbing stuff. I know to go to that bend. This bend down here is all inch and a half PVC. 90s, street 90s, TYs, dandies, Ys, um, inch and a half the Sankos, inch and a quarter the Sankos, 45s. This stuff's all for use, like working underneath the kitchen sink to re repair, replace the drain on the kitchen sinks, where they do a lot of that. Cut out the old stuff. Put in all heavy duty, all nice PVC. That's what all this draws for. I'm always in here. So all my inch and a half stuff's there. All my two inches over there. I hardly use any two inch. Mostly all inch and a half. Down in the bottom here, this is strictly for oil burners. I got three boxes of different size nozzles. All molded to pump couplings in here. These are Colin, these are all Beckett. All Firematic stuff. Go around the tank and the burners, all in that box. Um, this is all stuff for oil burners. Duplex fitting, you want to come off the top of the tank, put a two pipe system in. I got a whole bunch of those, three or four of those. All jet tubes coming off the pump, going to the, to the burner. All different size jet tubes. Them them break easily. Soot candles, all kinds of different flared fittings coming off the oil tank. These are all 80 degree nozzles. 70 and 45 degree nozzles. All 60 degree nozzles. Now I keep a nozzle kit inside my oil burner kit that I take in the house with me, but this is like a backup. If I have extras, I'll put them in here so I don't run out. These are all <clears throat> these are all CAD cells. CAD cells, which is a sensor knife for the oil burner. CAD cells, the complete CAD cells are just CAD cells. More flared nuts and stuff. Now I got some extra Boxes of nozzles, the most popular ones. Nozzle heads, burner heads, stuff like that. All miscellaneous stuff. That's all oil burner stuff in there. Strictly oil burner. All right, guys, bear with me. I got one more, one more draw to go, one more stack to go through, and we're done. What I got in here is the top drawer. I got all different stuff, like this bag's all Delta. Got all kinds of Delta repair kits for faucets, whatever whatever's Delta's in this bag. Delta. Miscellaneous. This is more like Speakman and all kinds of crazy brands. The Wolverine brass, that's another bag, all Wolverine brass spindles. 
This one here is all central brass. Central brass, all the spindles or seats and whatnot. This bag right here is all valves for ice makers, all different uh, strap on valves for half inch. I got a whole bunch of those. These are all different type of diverters for kitchen sink faucets. That's what makes a spray work as a diverter. I got all different, all my different ones in there. This bag is strictly mowing, all mowing spindles and stuff for faucets. This bag is strictly Gerber, all the different spindles and seats for Gerbers. And this one's cola. So if I used to have this stuff just all mixed together, there's stuff everywhere. I'd be digging through to try to find it. This way here, if I organize it in these bags. I know if I'm working on a Moen or a Cola or a Delta, Wolverine Brass, I go right to the bag, I have everything in there. I got some pop-up assemblies. Chrome one, a regular brass one. These are all extra chrome assemblies. This is all stuff for um, pop-up assemblies and all extra stuff. If I get something, take something out that's good, I'll save it. Sometimes I'll save some of these. This is from a Delta. Sometimes these rot out and I'll save them. Somebody has a faucet that's dripping, I'll put that on there. Mechanisms for the waste and overflow in the tub. All stuff like this, all plumbing stuff. American Standard Flush Buckets. A couple of those. That's the high one and I got a low one here. You guys don't know the difference, but there is a difference. I keep one of each. The second draw down. I got thermostats in here. I got my uh, my spray checking gas gas leaks. I got my gauge here for checking fan pitches. My Sepco um, mega meter. Check on you know, see if we got anything that's going to be going to ground or anything like that that belongs in here actually. Um, I got all little stuff here, like for tapping in if I want to, you know, have have another connection on a suction line or something. I got all this stuff, all repair stuff for my hoses. A whole bag of caps. I usually pull, I like to use the brass caps that have the gasket in them. I usually put them with nylog on there. Connections if I have to put a T in or something like that. I have all these connections here. And what I do on the bottom down, I keep on my uh, flame sensors. I got all different kind of flame sensors. I change a lot of them in the winter time. I usually just clean them, but sometimes you have to change them. I got all different sizes. I got the angle ones. I usually keep all my flame sensors in this drawer. All my different stuff. Some of the different stuff I use. Um, I got a lot of sub bases in here, heating cooling sub bases. I just picked up another dozen of them on eBay, pretty reasonable. Um, in here I got some of this epoxy. I use a lot of this epoxy on a cast iron drain. Sometimes there's a hole in a cast iron drain. I'll put an epoxy patch on it temporarily for the people. Use a lot of that as my, my fitting brush, my coil brushes. Just picked up a few more of those. I sent one to Fritz. I'm supposed to be sending one to Ralph. I gotta send it in the mail. My little scale, handheld scale for refrigerant tanks. That's that. There's a couple of these uh, capacitor testers. There's a couple of different kind of capacitor testers. That's pretty much that that draw. We'll see. Two more. Two more, Two more draws here. All right. In here is all my black fittings, three quarter and half inch. On the back here, I got all my three-quarter fittings, anything that's three-quarter. In this container is all three-quarter plugs, caps, type of thing. It's all three-quarter. In the front here is all my half-inch stuff. Got all my half-inch caps and plugs in there. I got all my elbows and stuff and, and tees and 45s in bags, so I know when I'm running low on them, I can tell. Couplings. 90s, caps, 45s, 
I get a bag of uh, miscellaneous nipples here, but I got nipple trays in the back over there. But that's all my half inch stuff. In the bottom here, this is all my big copper stuff. Anything that's one inch and bigger copper goes in this bin. Except for this, this is all my uh, my some of my miscellaneous three quarter. But anything two inch, inch and a quarter, one inch for like boiler jobs. It all goes in here. This is all stuff for water meters. We have to use these um, special Ford shutoffs for water meters in my town. So I got the angles and I got the straights. These things are like 130 bucks a piece for these valves. So I keep one of each just to have on stock in case somebody needs it changed. I got them. And that's all copper fittings in there. But that's pretty much it. That's the way my my truck set up. A lot of, lot of stuff in there. And then on the front here, I got my little calculator I use for making out bills. And underneath here, I got another another one of those things that I put in tubs for tools. Uh, little popper. Faucet, faucet washers. My repair tags. Every time I go on a job, I'll put a repair tag. Do a combustion test. I can, you know, put the information in here. And my extras, batteries, and extra stuff in here. Pull ties. My little meter. This is the other meter I used to use all the time. But the only problem with this meter is um, the ohms. The ohm scale is not that great. It's only a 200. So it's all right for certain things, but I like the fuel piece better or the fluke. The only thing with the fluke is it's so damn big. That's the only drawback I have with the fluke. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I always, I always wear gloves. That's one thing. I, one thing about me, I always wear gloves. I got all my code books in the front here. Oil burner books. Riello, Beckett, Carlin, everyone at the problems. I got all the books I need. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's what I have in my truck. That's why I need the 14,000 pound truck. Seven tons. And I'm getting actually like between 10 and 11 miles to gallon with the diesel. So I got my little shade here. Pull this down when I get the sunny out. Down on the bottom here, I got um, I carry a couple of sub pumps, Zola sub pumps. I gotta open the door to get those, but in the back here, in the back here, I put PVC. Um, with short pieces of PVC in the front here, I got um, you know, this is all my uh, speedy dry in this container, vacuum oil, uh, you know, transmission oil or motor oil, anything I need like that. I usually use this stuff in the diesel. To keep the fuel from gelling in the winter, I'll use that. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, my truck. So I pretty much have what I need. When I pull up on a job, I have what I need to fix it, no matter what. That's why I carry all that weight. I'd much rather have the stuff with me. It's like a mobile supply house, basically, what it is. That's what it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching.